This is gonna be a fun video. I can feel it. First off, I got Tyler Reed joining me. He'll be here in just a second. And we're gonna do what we love. We love exploring creeks. And we're gonna get in here and explore this creek. And hopefully, we're going for smallmouth. Now, today I'm expecting some really good fish. I'm kind of thinking that's gonna happen. I think we're gonna catch some good smallmouth. So I'm gonna go with a little bit heavier setup than my normal creek stuff. First off, let me just say thanks everyone that's watching these videos. And if you haven't noticed it by now, I just film the fishing trips that I want to go on. I'm not going out searching a lot of times for, I'm not looking for videos that, hey, this video right here is going to get me a lot of views. Or this video is gonna give me a lot of views. I'm just gonna, I'm videoing right now anyways, right, I'm just videoing stuff that I wanna do. So some days it's just some simple things, some days this, it's just, I'm just trying to show you everything I'm doing. So, and if you haven't subscribed, I appreciate you subscribing. I don't like to ask for that a lot, but that would really helps out my channel and uh, helps you to get videos uh, put to you from my channel, that way you watch more, that way I make more money, stuff like that. But um, Tyler will be here in just a second. Get ready, I think this is gonna be a fun day. Dude, this water is so clear. I'm like trying to stay far back as I can. Oh man. They're just, oh, oh. Oh, they swam off. Oh, something's coming. Come on. Dude, we are looking on some like two and three pound largemouth, smallmouth, easy, right here in the spot. But man, this largemouth was looking at my lure, but I couldn't get him to come hit it. There's one. No, nope. rock bass. Hey, it's my first fish finally. Took coming down and going. Huh? The double rig. Yeah. I, I, I would love to double up on a rock bass. So that's a good rock bass. So one fish, but trying to get these bass to hit. They just, they're really not interested right now. Tyler's got another rock bass over there, but they're definitely at the back of this pool. Oh, there he is right there. Oh, that's a good one. There's three of them, three of them, right? Oh, wow. Four of them. Oh, dude. Those uh, they're. Yeah, those fish are every bit of. That... Oh, oh, I see a couple smallmouth. They're real shallow right here. They're in there. They're, they're this thing. Everything we've been, we've been throwing them. There's fish in there. I don't know why they just don't. This doesn't seem like they're wanting to really. Oh, oh there we go. Oh, nope. We don't go. They swallowed it whole, and I was not paying attention. I just thought, I was like almost in awe that I got a bite. Oh my, that's a good smallmouth. Right there in front of you. Dang. Something's got to get these fish hitting. We're going to figure it out. We'll spend all day here. Oh, stink. Yep. I'm gonna try this and I'm gonna try something else and I go. You guys got a hold of my line. I go. The crawfish. Yeah. I wanna walk up there and see if I see that one, try to throw it in, or just throw it out in that deep section to see if. Come on, bass, eat it. It's a real crawdad. I can't get this bass to eat it. Come on. 
Here he goes, here he goes, here he goes. Spit it back out. Eat that crawl. Got him. Finally. Oh my goodness, that was some work. It's a good fish though. Pretty good. Took forever to get him to bite it. If I hadn't seen him, I wouldn't have got him to hit probably. Oh, he's a good fish actually. It's spotted bass. Look at that. That is a good fish. There's a couple, couple more right here in front. Maybe I can get them to bite it too. Man, I'm happy with that. That's a solid pound. Maybe a, a thick fish. But there's a tons of them in these holes in their smallmouth, and there's a, there's a bass right in front of me, just like that one. Got to had to get a live crawl to get him to hit. Uh, I got another one looking at it. Come on, come on, come on. Oh yeah, he's gonna take it. He's gonna take it. Oh, dude, they are so hesitant to hit. He just put his he just put his lips on it. And let it go. That was so crazy. Got him. There's not a lot of crawdads in this creek. There's a crawdad right there. Let me put him in my holding box. Oh, here's another one. There was two of them. That's what it was. I was about to say, the got one. one. You pointed out was bigger. For yeah, sure. he came back into you. I got the little one. Okay. That was the biggest one of the day. <laughs> Look at all that stuff in there. We got we got a ton of stuff in we there. We got you know seven or eight things at least. Hopefully we can get a, at least one fish off one. Small they go. Oh, he's right there. Where's the large mouth, anyways? They see it as soon as it hits the water. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, there's a good one looking at it. Did he eat it? Did he eat it? Got him. Oh, dude, oh, nice. Nice, nice. I got my drag set loose because I don't know how bad I, or how good they're getting hooked. That's a good fish, man. Sweet. He's a thick guy. He's bigger than that last one I caught. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Nice. He's, he's right at, he might be, I don't think he's the same one, but he's right at the close. But there's so many that same size. Dude, that's a nice fish. Is that on the crawfish? Yeah, I was on the crawl. I watched him. There was like a little small mouth, a couple other ones. He came over and ate it. Yeah. These guys are chunky. Look how thick these fish are. You think, I thought they'd be hammering lures, but they're eating and they're, that's why they could be so picky, I guess. They got plenty of food. They're not super aggressive and like, even when they run off, they go off slow. There they are. I see them coming. You just see them like coming at it. You can't tell. They like all just like swim up to it and just to look at it. And they're probably all taking turns a little nibbling. I'm gonna try that frog. And then I'll, I'm gonna do the Helgramite the same way, drift it underneath the bobber. I think that'll be perfect. Honestly. I think I think the Helgramite would be the best. Yeah. We got all, what do you want? It's coming hard. To, it's hard to get stuff out. I'll, I'll take a frog if he jumps out first, but like, uh, I'll take a frog just because I know he's probably oh, dying. Uh, Come here, little buddy. All right, we're going with Helga Mike. I'm gonna try to hook him on here somehow. He's trying to bite my pliers. They got really tough skin. No time at all. It's a little guy. Helgramite? Yeah. Oh my God. Bluegill. As soon as it hit the water. All right. 
As soon as I hit the water, bluegill. Oh man, this was definitely a tough grind of a day trying to get some fish. It was an interesting day all, all in all. Saw a ton of fish. These fish were just, they, they would not bite anything. They were, we, we, we spent five or six hours and just could not get even some bass with a live Helgramite right in front of his face, couldn't get them ahead. It was just crazy, but the temperature has kind of been dropping and that water was pretty cold. I wish I had an accurate temperature, but it's kind of dropping. It stayed cloudy all day. I think if it warmed up a little bit or the sun came out, they might've turned on, but definitely a good learning experience. So let me just show you what all I had on me. Of course, I have one rod. It was a, it was a medium heavy today. Probably should have took a little bit lighter, but this is the, the PC Fun wading bag that I take and I have, it got a little bit wet, but it keeps everything uh, dry in there. Sometimes it gets dipped in. Let's see here, of course I got my GoPro Hero 7. I got camera. Um, these are the PC Fin waders that I just got and I have to say, I really like them. Um, I think they're right at a hundred bucks. Got a pocket right here to put stuff in. They are super flexible and lightweight. Like, uh, it doesn't, didn't restrict me at all. I was crawling over logs and, you know, of course through water and all kinds of things. and. Uh, it felt really good. I'm wearing some Choda, uh, the wading shoes. These are actually like really nice wading shoes. Um, so um, you don't have to have those right there, but these um, these waders here, I got the XXL uh, because I'm tall, but mainly the biggest thing was uh, my feet size. They, um, of course they got the socks kind there. So you just slip into them. And these go up to size 13 on their feet. And um, I think the extra large, which I would normally probably get, they only go up to like size 11 or 12. And I, of course, I wear size 15, my toes are long, so my toes were a little bit cramped, but that's just the expected. But I was in there for, like I said, all day pretty much, and I'm feeling pretty comfortable, and I'm staying dry. Got a little uh, belt around the waist that it comes with. Um, and got tons of room. This, this could work for an even taller person. If you're 6'6", six, 6'7", six, six, these would work great. Um, but yeah, uh, these are uh, spider wire um, sunglasses, track supply hat, you know, these, these I get these from Walmart, polarized, so uh, I'm at, least, at least I'm happy with trying this stuff out, a really good day, I've at least tested all my gear. I plan to use to do a lot more with waders and um, still try to go for trout, some bass and stuff like that all through the, throughout the winter and uh, I'm really happy with these, happy with everything that I tried today, it turned out good, but thanks for watching. Um, did get some fish, but like I said, we, we struggled to really catch them. Caught a lot of little bait fish, had fun, you know, catching that kind of stuff that you might not saw on camera, or a little uh, crawdads and helgramites. And um, so, yeah, so thanks for watching. And uh, I'll leave, uh, I'll try to leave all the information from this stuff uh, in, in the description below.